Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to try some new makeup. Um, well, actually, um, I bought this Sephora Favorites Gleamy Dreamy set. And I intended to do a video on this, but it's been so long. I, I'm not even sure if this is still available. Um, I should check actually, but I thought I would try to use like as many products in this set as I can and then I did buy a few more things That caught my eye recently, so I wanted to just try them out also because this has been hanging around in my like to film Video on area which is just like a mess on top of my vanity thing so yeah I just want to put all that stuff away because I want to film a shot my stash video and I want everything to be like up to date so let me just go quickly on the Sephora app and see if that is even still available because actually I wanted to do a video on that and the lip set that just came out but that like sold out on the first day and now like on Sephora it says that item cannot be shipped to Canada so I guess it's not coming back. I don't know. Unfortunately that set is not available anymore but I can still just talk about the products on their own because they all are available like at Sephora since it is a Sephora favorites set. So yeah let's just get into it. I don't have any new like complexion products I could have used so in this set there is a glow recipe watermelon glow dew drops and I could have used that as a primer I actually have the full size of that product so I wouldn't have opened this one yet anyway but I used another glowy primer because I kind of forgot <laughs> that I was gonna try like as many products as I could so yeah, I already used my VDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. Um, this is in my whole collection project if you saw my last video. Um, this is expired so I'm trying to use it up and I went to link this in my last video and I couldn't find it so I'm not sure if this is still available anymore. This is the fresh version. I did see like the regular version but not this one so I don't know. And then I put on a very light layer of my Tarte Hybrid Gel Foundation. Also not available <laughs> anymore. Oh, but see, this is why I do project pans because I have so many old products in my collection now that just need to get used. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I put a bit of my KVD Locket setting powder also in my whole collection project. I only put that powder in this specific area because that's where I feel like my pores are most visible. Um, honestly, I'm just doing it because I have so many powders, like loose powders in my collection that I never use. So that's the way I found I like to use them. Anyway. All that aside, let's talk about what came in this kit. Even though it's not available anymore, like I said, all of these products are available at Sephora. So the reason I got this is because there are a few products in here that I've been wanting to try. Some things I already own, but the two things I own already happen to be the only mini size products in this set, which worked out well because I thought this was a great deal for all of these full-size products. It was um, $49 US or 63 Canadian. So the two things I own already, like I said, the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. This is a little 5 ml size. I'm going to keep this for traveling because I do have the full size. I have yet to use it. It's still in my new makeup drawer. So I don't really know much about that at all. All, as I, all I know is that I put it in my makeup um, collection instead of skincare because I feel like it's more like a primer product. And then the other mini that you get is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. Um, this little like brow 
wax. I have the full size of this and I really remember liking it. So I'm gonna keep this for traveling. I mean, it's not that much smaller, <laughs> like in like space that it takes up. This is a, how much is in here? 2.5 grams. The full size is eight grams. And mine has turned cloudy. I don't know if that's normal. Um, so it looks like this now. And, but when you first get it, it's clear, like this one. So I don't know, I hope that's normal <laughs> because I do like this product and I wanna keep using it. Maybe I'll just use this today. I'll use the one I already own, but it's the same product. Um, what else do we get in here? Oh, I desperately need to put a lip balm on. So let's talk about the lip balm. You get the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in a full size. I need to stop saying you get because you can't get this set anymore. But this came in the set, the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm in Vanilla Beige. Um, this says apply as needed throughout the day. Can be used under or over lipstick. Okay, I kind of thought this was a clear lip balm, but it's not. Um, oh, it smells good. It smells like kind of like cake or something. So it, it's one of these squeezy tubes, not my preferred method of applying lip products, but that's the shade. So it actually does have like a hue to it. Okay. Um, but as I was gathering all the products for this video, I realize I have ended up with three new lip balms when I should not be really buying any lip balms. <laughs> if you saw my makeup inventory, you might know why. But I have this one now. Let's just jump around because this set is irrelevant as it comes in a set that you can't buy anymore. <laughs> so the other lip balm I bought was from Give Beauty, Gwen Stefani's brand. This is the Spark the Fire Plumping Lip Balm. I got the shade LOL. This is another like nude lip balm. This is the packaging, which is pretty, but it feels very like lightweight. But this part, which has like a nice engraving of the brand logo, this is heavy. So I kind of wish like they made the whole thing more even, but Anyway, this does look really pretty. It's like a nice bullet like this. Oh, this has that like cake smell too. Yeah, but this is a plumping lip balm. Oh, it's very sheer. That's, I mean, still has some color, but that's what that is. Very lightweight so far. And then I saw that Huda Beauty came out with new products in her glowish line. And I haven't tried, I don't think I've tried anything from the makeup, from the Glowish makeup line. Um, so I picked up the lip balm, <laughs> the Super Jelly lip balm, and I got the blueberry one. So this is the box packaging. It's that, it feels like a nice like craft paper that all the brands are doing now, I guess, because it seems more recyclable. <laughs> And this looks like this. So a lot of brands are coming out with these now. I know Tarte did some in their like Maracuya Juicy Lip ones and then MAC did some. So it's these like colorful, this is just like, you know, acrylic plastic. These like colorful lip balms, which I normally steer away from because I feel like they always do that like pH balancing shade where it's just a pink on everybody. But I saw um, Makeup Just For Fun did a video on the new Glowish products and she had this product on and it looks so nice. It looked like a nice like berry tone. Why did I close that? Because I want to give you a swatch. So I hope it comes across like that on my lips too. But that's what this looks like in a swatch. And these products, like 
you don't smell them until you really like put it up to your nose. It has a very faint like fruity scent. I don't know if it's supposed to be blueberry or if they all smell the same, but to me it just smells like fruity. But it's really not overpowering at all. So those are the lip balms. <laughs> Should I just try all of them? Okay, let's do this one first, the Give Beauty, because it seemed to be the most sheer. And I have nothing on my lips at all, so I'm going on dry lips, which may not be the best. Well, it's a lip balm, so, you know, it should help. Hmm. This, um, shape of this lip bullet, it's very big. Like, I felt like I had to be kind of precise. I couldn't just go like this because it would go everywhere. But yeah, I do think that has like a nude tint to it. It feels really nice. It's not very thick on the lips. I'm just waiting um, till it starts doing something because it says it's a plumping lip balm. Well, I should have checked because sometimes when brands say a plumping lip product, it's not that it has those like tingly sensation. It's just like the way the formula is makes your lips look plumper because of the way it like settles in the lip lines. I think I feel something. <laughs> it says swipe on lips for a visibly plumped effect and sheer glaze of color. I like how the shade looks. So I guess we'll just use this as a swatch because <laughs> I'm not going to wait too long. I do think it is feeling a little tingly but not like um, like a Too Faced lip injection at all, or even like a Buxom, it's not like that. It's just very soft. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. Let's try the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Yeah, this one is a much thicker formula, and I don't Right away, I can tell you I don't like <laughs> this applicator. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like these applicators, they just move the product around and then you're spending more time just trying to get an even coat. And like, see, now I feel like I have to wipe this off so that it's clean for the next time. Oh, but it is interesting when you like squeeze it this is like silicone but when you put it on the lips it still feels like kind of stiff but i do like the shade of that too it's a nice nude and it's a nice like shine to it so there's the lip butter balm but i really want to try the glowish one this definitely has a plumping effect because i can feel it now like, even though I removed the product, it feels like a bit tingly. So let's see the glowish, how this shade comes across on my lips, which are already, like, kind of pigmented. I like this, too. It feels quite like a thin formula also but it feels like nice on the lips so this is a product like I find this very easy to use like you just swipe it on and there is a clear version well like a nude one called coconut if you don't like tinted lip balms but I do like the shade of this it's giving me like a mauvey pink tone on me yeah, so I think I'll just leave this one as it is and we'll continue with the rest of the face. But now I have three lip balms in my collection. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I got a new concealer. I got the new House Labs by Lady Gaga. Or Lady Gaga. No, Lady Gaga. 
Triclone Skin Tech Concealer. So this is like meant to go with her Triclone Skin whatever foundation that I have. And I have a video on that if you want to check it out. Um, I might have made a mistake in the shade of this. This is the packaging. I was wondering if this was going to be a glass bottle because the foundation is in a glass bottle, right? Yeah. Oh, mine is like very separated. Yeah, the foundation is in a glass bottle, but the concealer is like a thick, like acrylic. But you can see how it's, you know, giving the same vibe, the same like lid and everything. But I got this shade light neutral and I think I should have got one of the shades in the fair um, line because okay this the foundation yeah see I have the foundation in light neutral which is normally like any foundation that comes out I get it in the light any shade that's called light neutral I get that one I guess that's what I was thinking when I bought this but this under my eyes I don't know Okay, so I don't know anything about this. I just saw new concealer from Lady Gaga and I had to try it. <laughs> so it says house tech powered with bioferment 7 complex and hyaluronic acid complex. Infused with 20 plus skincare ingredients, this clean concealer brightens and covers with a weightless serum-like texture that blends seamlessly for a hyper smooth second skin finish. That sounds exactly like something I want from my concealer. Yeah, but I, oh dear, I think it's gonna be too dark. This is the applicator. It's kind of like a, like a doe foot, but wider and flatter. Oh my God, I don't have any concealer on, as I think you can tell. <laughs> oh, my eyes are like red underneath, so let's, Let's just try it. If it's too dark, I'll put some of my Maybelline Dark Circle Eraser like, mixed in. But let's just start with a small amount. I'm gonna use my blue, my beauty, my <laughs> beauty blender because it's already damp. And let's just see what happens. I feel like this shade looks very bright on camera. But in person, I don't know. Let's see when I blend it out. I feel like it does have quite a bit of coverage. I thought it, because of the description, it sounded like it was going to be more serum-y. So there's one eye with the concealer. Let's try this side. I don't know. I feel like I only see the true shade when I edit the video. That's what happened with my, um, with the Rose Ink Concealer. I thought it looked okay on camera and then when I was editing the video, you could tell like there was just yellow under my eyes. So I'm hoping this one works out better for me. If not, it's just going to have to become a spot concealer. Okay, it does blend out very like quickly. I don't know, I feel like I can see that there's product under my eyes, which I don't love. And honestly, lately I've not even been using concealer, I just use my Tatcha like tinted eye treatment Because I find concealer just makes me look older sometimes <laughs> But I felt like today I needed something um, For my under eyes, I don't know. I think I could use a bit more coverage For today, but I don't want to like end up looking too crepey so let's see how it settles in. But so far, I mean, it's not bad at all. It kind of honestly looks a bit dewy. Maybe because I applied it with a beauty blender. But yeah, let's see. So far, it's okay. 
Do I actually let me try and use it as a spot concealer too? Because I didn't do any spot concealing today. Oh, that's a freckle. <laughs> I have a few like blemishes that I'll see if it covers. Yeah, it's covering them. I just don't know about this shade. So this on the Sephora app, this shade said it had balanced undertones, but I do feel like it's a bit yellow for me personally. Yeah, the true test will be like how it wears for me because sometimes I like concealers at first but then they don't wear well and like they crease or they start to look dry. So I'll do like an update on this at the end of the video. So yeah, that's my new concealer. So I do have a new cream bronzer and this is not like a new product <laughs> to the market. A lot of people have this already. The Milk Makeup uh, Matte Bronzer Stick in the shade Baked. This is like a cult classic, I feel. Um, everyone tries to like use it up in their project pens, I've noticed, but they have like the big full size one. Oh, by the way, this is actually the full size of the product. And I, I have seen videos where people were saying like, oh my god, the new size of the milk makeup is so small. And now that I have it in my hand, like, I cannot believe this is a full size product. It makes sense though because the stick products, like you're never going to go through it. I mean, you'd have to just use that one product every day for like years, honestly, to get through it. So I'm glad this is the size now, but it just seems like not, like it seems like you would have got this as like a point perk at Sephora. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know. Maybe they should have like kept the same amount of product but made the packaging bigger some i don't know that's just how i feel i'm really trying to get the, <laughs> the cap off this little thing which um you should keep these by the way because it keeps it fresh i find because i have the highlighters from milk but i've never tried the bronzer um so let's do that i'm hoping it blends out with a beauty blender i think so let's just do a swipe. Ooh. I like this shade. It's very maybe like neutral leaning warm, which is what I like for a bronzer. So I'm just putting this like everywhere where I put any other bronzer. I have been really liking my Rare Beauty one, so this has like big shoes to fill so let's see how it blends I mean yeah okay very easily when I blend out um, bronzer on my jawline I always drag it down just so <laughs> in case I didn't like blend it out enough it at least looks like it's part of my skin you know yeah this is a nice shade Oh, but this is not a beauty blender, by the way. I call, like, every sponge I own a beauty blender. It's like how you call all tissues Kleenex, because <laughs> that's just, like, the brand. Um, I actually don't like this sponge very much. I don't even know what brand it's from, 
because it would it was just like loose like this in my collection but i got it from boxy charm that's for sure okay so that's a shade it actually blended out very seamlessly i could even apply a bit more maybe maybe on this side I kind of want to put some here, just to try. Very light layer. Maybe I prefer blending out bronzer, cream bronzer with a brush, but this is working. It's just taking like a bit longer. Like when I do my Rare Beauty one with a brush, it's just like, you know, a few seconds, honestly. So there's the bronzer. I feel like that just melted into my skin. So, okay, I see why a lot of people really like this product. And I also have a blush. I would say this is the product that really sold me on this kit. Because <laughs> it's something I've been intrigued to try it's a blush from lawless they make me blush talc free velvet blush in the shade indian summer i don't know it's like a pretty mauve tone i feel like it again it looks very bright in on camera but in person it's more a mauve like a neutral mauve so i am excited to see what this looks like i need a brush though i'm just gonna use my bh cosmetics brush that I use all the time it's like I don't know if you can hear that <laughs> it's not even glued on correctly anymore but it's the 110 and I love the shape of it for blush so I'm kind of just coating this I've never tried a lawless blush so I don't know how pigmented they are or if they blend out easily Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, they're pigmented. Um, yeah. I did like coat the brush quite a bit though. Because I found like um, it wasn't kicking up a lot of product, so I felt like I had to maybe get more on my brush, but maybe I didn't. Maybe this <laughs> is not blush. And I like to put my blush, so I used to do like a, a the wave technique, I guess it was called. Um, but now I like to just do it here, like on my upper cheekbone. And then I take the brush and just go over the bridge of my nose. Like I don't swipe it all along. And I like that look. I feel like it looks very natural. Like that's what, you know, he would look like from getting actual sun. Okay, I, I do really like the shade of this. Yeah, that's really pretty. And it kind of has like a bit of a sheen. Or is that just like um, my glowy primer? <laughs> I don't know, but I like it. Yeah, it was called... Make me blush talc free velvet blush. So don't say it was supposed to be matte or anything. I think velvet is a good name for it. It's like satiny. Okay, that's pretty. And this is a full size product, uh, in case you're wondering. Okay, for eyeshadow, I did get a new palette. <laughs> Again, from the Glowish line, I just had to get this. It looks so cute and I love the shades. So this is called a Micro Mini Natural Eyeshadow Palette and I got the shade Moss. So this is really like a Micro Mini. So it's it looks like this. Let me show you next to a ColourPop quad because I think see how small that is 
but I mean that's fine because they did call it a micro mini so it's what I would expect they do have like a, a film on it which is interesting so I got the green one and these are the shades I just thought they were really pretty together as like a one and done kind of look and I loved how this she looked um so let's swatch it Ooh, it's quite pigmented okay that shade is darker than i thought that like taupey shade Ooh, already like it feels very soft and um smooth so that was the lightest shade the taupey one but this looks really pretty i love this shade the screen too okay so let's do like a quick look with that so i'm going to go in with the lightest shade i'm just like kind of putting this everywhere <laughs> in the crease and kind of um higher up and on the lid oh i really like that shade it's kind of it's more like cool tone than i usually go for for my like first transition shade but i mean the pigment is nice and so blendable um let me know if you guys picked up um any of these little palettes there is like a mauvey tone one and a orangey one but I felt like those colors, I just have so much in my collection. I'm sure I have these colors too, but in a little quad, I just liked how they look together. Because you guys know I've talked about this in other videos. I don't like to mix and match palettes when I do my eyeshadow. I like to just use the eyeshadow, like the color story as it was intended. Because it makes me like go out of my comfort zone and use different shades okay so far really liking this um then i'm gonna go in with this green which is do these have names no the shades don't have names oh it's made in italy that explains why it's so good it's that like there's quite a bit of kick up, but it's so smooth and blendable. That's like my favorite eyeshadow formula. So this is actually quite exciting. I wasn't sure like how I was going to feel about these because I feel like when Huda does her smaller palettes, they're like a hit or miss. Like sometimes, I don't know, they're just not that great. But this one's going pretty good so far. So yeah, taking this big sagey green into the outer corner. And I kind of just like to kind of, I don't know, wing it out in the outer corner here. Because my eyes are so like round that... <laughs> I don't know it gives him kind of like a shape and then what do i want to do i really want to use every shade so i'm going to use this like i guess the namesake of the palette this like mossy green i'm going to put that on like from the inner corner like out like um <laughs> halfway oh my god I'm not an eyeshadow like professional as you can see I'm looking for a brush that's somewhat clean I definitely have to clean my brushes I have to actually also do a brush um, declutter because I've realized there's so many brushes in my little containers that I never use and they're just taking up space and I could probably pass them on because I had some of them, like I said, I've never used them. So I don't need to keep them all in my collection. 
So because I put this shade over those other two, it's probably going on like a bit deeper than it normally would. But I don't mind. I love this. I love this shade of green. And because I kind of have like um, somewhat hooded eyes, I like to always take my brush and blend the shadow up like even past my crease so that when my eyes are open normally you can still see the color on my lids. This is so easy to use like everything is blending into itself but of course I have to use the shimmer. I think I'm just gonna use my finger and put it on the middle because I don't want to cover up these nice green tones and the shimmer feels like dry not in a bad way, but just not like I'm trying to distinguish this shimmer the way this shimmer feels from like those very creamy ones, um, you know, that have that seem to have like a lot of silicone base or dimethicone or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm not a you know a chemist, <laughs> but. It still goes on really pretty and I like how there's like different differentiation between all the shades like it's not just a monotone green palette you know like this shade this shimmer is really kind of like a bronzy green if that's a thing I really like this I'm just gonna go back in with my fluffy brush and kind of like make this blend a bit more less choppy <laughs> oh God, there's so much dust this is why I need to do like a whole makeup reset because I've had the same products out in my shop my stash since like with the beginning of summer was it and I really need just like a seasonal change okay and I will just take a smaller brush and put the lightest shade underneath on my lower lash line and I am tapping off every time because there is quite a bit of kick up in the pan like I said and I just don't want that to go everywhere that's just a habit I have with pretty much every <laughs> eyeshadow I put on the concealers looking pretty good by the way I do see like a tiny bit of creasing but that's because like I'm looking very closely you know into my mirror I think from far it looks pretty good. Okay, I'm very happy with this little quad. Yeah. I feel like you could do a more like daytime look, but you could also make it look very smoky with this green shade and maybe with applying a heavier coat of the shimmer, you could do like a nice smoky green eye. Um, but yeah. I like this. I like it a lot. Um, so in that set, there also was a mascara. But do I want to put mascara on now? Yeah, let's just do the mascara. So I'm about to open another mascara, <laughs> but that's fine. I think the one I'm using now is almost like should be on its way out. But this is the Ilia limitless lash mascara and at first i thought i already had this as well but i guess Ilya has i well definitely they have two maybe more kinds of mascara the other one i have is i think more the it's like a voluminizing one let's just look in my new makeup drawer i still have it in the box 
yeah so the other one's called fullest volumizing mascara but the one that came in this in the favorite set is the limitless lash mascara and i've heard really good things about ilia i thought about ilia mascara i thought they only had one kind so now i don't know like which one is the one people like okay so this is the brush it's a plastic bristle brush and it looks like it has yeah so there's like a shorter end and a longer end which i guess is how you like comb out and make it more lengthening i per personally do prefer lengthening mascaras over volumizing so let's see how this goes and i actually don't mind bristle brush either um the maybelline oh my god what's it called now the pink one I forgot the name of it, but you guys, if you watch my other videos, you probably know what I'm talking about because it's like my favorite mascara. That one has a bristle brush too, but not the same shape. Oh, this is really pretty <laughs> so far. So I'm going to try and use the longer end and see if that does anything. Okay, that's definitely a lengthening mascara and I really like it. So there's a difference. So I'm going to go in again on the other side with more product. I do feel like it is a little spiky, this applicator. Like you could definitely stab yourself <laughs> with it. Um, but yeah, just have to be careful and I do like the like the little comb side because if you get too much if you get it too thick in spots you can comb it out okay this is very promising so far um and lately I haven't been putting mascara on my lower lash line so I think I'm just gonna leave it should I or mm, let's put some because the days where I don't put it on my lower lash line, I'm not wearing eyeshadow. But now I feel like when I put eyeshadow on my lower lash line and I don't put mascara, it looks like I forgot to finish <laughs> my eye makeup, you know? And this is very easy to use on the bottom too. Okay, this could be good. But like foundation and concealer the true test for me with the mascara is how it wears because if it flakes or smudges then it's a no so more to come on this but this is obviously a little mini size and yeah i really like it so far um for my brows so because there was that anastasia beverly hills thing the brow freeze should i use this i don't I, I like this product but i have other products in my projects that i should be using okay let's just use it because i already talked about it so with this one yeah i think i want to put this on first and i'm gonna use my patrick ta um for brows applicator. I think this is how I did it last time I used this product. So I take a bit out of the component like this and then I put it on the cap and I learned this I think from a video from Anastasia they were saying this is how to use it and then you take your spoolie and you just go like this and then you just clean the cap off after um which like seems messy <laughs> but it does clean off okay 
just like, I don't know, freaks me out a little to put product on the cap. And this I feel like it's called it's called brow freeze and you'd think that it means it's a very strong hold like brow gel but it's actually quite pliable and I think that's what I like about it. So that's just a you know a very light coating and now I'm just gonna wipe the cap with my Actually, it's a baby wipe. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna use that to clean this off. And then it's clean again. So that's the brow freeze, if you didn't know. It's not a new product, but apparently it's a Sephora favorite. So I guess many people like this product. This might ruin everything because <laughs> I haven't used this product in a while. And it does take a little technique my next lift and snatch right yeah I have the shade ash brown which I hope is still a good shade for me even though I colored my hair more like reddish tones and you just kind of like flick this very lightly <gasps> we'll see that could happen but then you just wipe it away because it's not like a thick formula I guess I want to say. I'm going to go in again with a spoolie just to make sure like it's even. But I am super like barely touching and I can see the color coming off. I just don't want to make them too dark. Mm, I don't want to use the patch of tall one because I don't want to get that full of pigment when I use it for the brow freeze. So where's my e.l.f. brush? Well, I have this one too. Um, this from the Brow Gal. It's another one of those like, you know, spoolie on one end and a brush on the other. But this one I've used for powders and stuff, so that should be fine. Yeah, I don't know if I like that shade of my NYX pen anymore because of my hair color now. It's almost like too cool tone brown. You guys are going to think like I'm never satisfied because before I used to say um, brow tints for brunettes were too warm <laughs> and I'm saying they're too cool. Uh, I don't know. Okay, maybe I should have just left it. I feel like there's a spot here that won't go away. But yeah, so that's my very quick brow that I do when I use the brow freeze. I just haven't been using it because it wasn't in my Shop My Stash, but I do really like that product and I can see why it's in a Sephora Favorites kit. Um, what else? I don't want to forget anything, but I think I've, yeah, that's good. So I just have the lips and, um, yes, let's do this first though. I feel like I forgot something. I've done everything though. Blush, bronzer, eyeshadow, brows. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, so also in the favorites kit, there's the Rare Beauty. There's no name. Oh, always an optimist, four in one setting mist. And this was on my Sephora loves list. So when I saw it was in the kit, it was another thing that just made me add to cart. You guys know I'm supposed to be on a setting spray no buy. But whatever, I love setting sprays. And I feel like they do, like people write them off, but setting spray makes a major difference in your final look, I feel. Especially as someone with dry skin, like a good setting spray can change everything or a bad one can 
you know, change everything for the worse. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's try this one. I don't remember why it's called like a four in one. I guess you can use it as a priming setting spray too. But I mainly use setting spray as a finishing step. So I'm gonna cover my eyeshadow though. Cause I have noticed especially like glowy setting sprays, they make your eyeshadow melt. So have to be careful. But that mister was very nice, very light and even and doesn't like get you in one, you know, spot. Um, yeah. Because this didn't come with a box or anything, I don't really know what it's, you know, what it's, um, claims are but i can just tell you it feels nice and i like the mister so i have this little mini of the rare beauty setting spray and the final product is actually a product i own already but not in this shade so this is the patrick ta major volume plumping gloss so it looks like this um it's another full-size product I have this in the shade, I believe it's called Full Syringe, it's the red one, and I bought that one because I was like, I want, at least if I'm buying another plumping gloss, I want it to have some color, so that's why I got this one. So that's why I got the red one, but now I have this more like pinky tone one, so, oh, let's see, that is way too much product that came off, so I'm just going to wipe that. And I'm gonna put it over the Huda Beauty, which by the way, still feels really nice. I've been wearing it this whole time as you saw, but I'm gonna put this over top, <laughs> I think. Or yeah, because that's how I would, like when I do my makeup, I always put a lip balm on at the beginning and then I put my, you know, my makeup lip product on top of it. So let's just do that because this is how I would do it in real life. Not that this isn't real life, but <laughs> you know what I mean? Ooh, see this applicator I like. It's like soft, like flexible applicator. I do feel, okay, now I'm dipping in again, even though I took some off. I just thought it was gonna be goopier than it is. This does not smell like anything. I think what I'm smelling is the Huda Beauty. Yeah. Oh, that, okay. I may have put it on a bit too much cause see how it's doing those lines? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay. Um. Okay, just took off a bit with the tissue. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, like I said, I had I have this already, but I haven't, I think I've used it once, like just when I first got it to try it out. So I'm not that familiar with how it wears. I don't like those stringy things, but let's see if it, I don't know how it wears. Again, it's not super plumping, like it's not like a Buxom or a Too Faced. It's just tingling very slightly. And just disclaimer, I did already have this plumping lip balm on before, so. Okay, but that's the finished look. Yeah, that's everything. I think I like everything. The concealer is still looking pretty good. I see a tiny bit of creasing, but really, like I said, I have to look like very close up into my mirror to notice. I love the blush. I honestly have seen mixed reviews on the Lawless blushes, so I wasn't sure about it, but I really like it. I really like the shade of it too. Um, the bronzer worked out really well. It blended super easily and yeah, 
I'm just not sure about the Patrick Ta. I think I put too much of it on, to be honest. Um, but it still has a bit of that stringiness, which I don't love. Um, I love the, the glowish little quad. Honestly, if I didn't have so much eyeshadow, I'd probably get the other shades because I love the formula. And yeah, oh, I wanted to tell you. Actually, let me check. Is this even still a thing? Yes, this is still a thing. So right now, I hope by the time I put this video up, I'm gonna try and get it up quickly. There's an offer on Sephora right now where you get these two Nest products. You have to do a $50 purchase so, but if you were, you know, if you had a cart set up and you were waiting for a good offer, I recommend this one. It comes with the Nest Grapefruit Scented Candle, which I am obsessed with, and a Nest Golden Nectar Eau de Parfum set thing. And this is like, you know, a birthday gift size offer. So, yes, if you were wanting to make an order, I got these in my order when I ordered all this stuff, <laughs> aside from the Sephora favorite set, which I had sitting around for way too long. So I'm happy I finally used it. I hope this video was still helpful. For so even though this set isn't available anymore, these are all products that you can get at Sephora and they're Sephora favorites, so I guess they're pretty well liked. And yeah, my lips are starting to tinkle <laughs> quite a bit, but I don't mind that at all. So yeah, um, I hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!